Sports. Up next, we've got what should be a great matchup between the New England Patriots and the Los Angeles Rams. Kickoff now just moments away. It is finally time to crown a champion as I'll hand it over to the two men who will call the action, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Alongside my good friend Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. We are honored to be here for the biggest spectacle in sports, the Super Bowl. Are you ready, partner? I am more than ready, and I love the word you used, honored, because it is an honor to be here. It's a privilege to be here. My excitement is just about to burst through the booth. I can't wait to do this. Well, in sitting with both of these teams and talking in the meetings and media day and all the hoopla that goes into this, there was one common theme. They're ready to stop the talking and start playing football. Yeah, they were probably ready a while ago. Now they can just focus on it. It's done. The only talking they have to worry about now is post-game, and they hope that they'll be talking as the winning team. And we'll see. You know both sides come in with a game plan to start. We'll see how the adjustments are made throughout because there are always adjustments in this game. I want to see nine touchdown come. passes this year for his career. Brady now on first down. And the first hook up with his all-pro tight end, Rob Gronkowski. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. From the gun, it's Brady. And he will find his man. That's Hogan complete. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it with it an eyelash. Dropped it to one. They're able to convert. And they will run it with Michelle. And he is in. Touchdown, New England, with the first touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Patriots drive right down the field and score on the opening drive. And on the grandest of stages, with a whole world watching the Super Bowl, they come out and get the first points. I don't know how you feel about Brandon, but for me, watching the beginning of the Super Bowl, I've often wondered how come it's not just a fumble fest? How come the ball's not all over the place? The nerves... The On second down, here's Goff. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. A good pick up there, a 22. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Shotgun snap for Goff. He's going to air it out deep for Woods. And this is caught. He's got it. Touchdown, L.A. Robert Woods, 57 yards. And the Rams are an extra point away from tying up this football game. And that was really just a great battle for that football on both sides. The result is a touchdown. Ordinarily, I'd like to say it was a win-win, but it really wasn't because the defender, while he was there with excellent coverage, he didn't get the benefit, did he? But he's not going to get chewed up in film session. Was no, he was right there. That's it. On second down, Michelle. And an alley to run. And he's got this down to the 35. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. At this stage of the game, the run-pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be where going to come from and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. Into the red zone, it's Brady. And that's caught by Gronk for a Pats touchdown. Rob Gronkowski from 13 yards out, and the Pats able to cash in for six. They'll start out on the ground with Gurley. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. Tremendous blocking by the interior. Wait, 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 wait. On 
first down, it's gone. That's caught by his tight end, Gerald Everett. So that goes for a gain of 31. There will always be a place for methodically to the other and give him an opportunity if it breaks down, he can take off and run for it. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. As his guys are in for six. And the Rams are an extra point away from tying up this football game. And that score and the point after will knock this ball game up. And when you're playing from behind, all you want to do is get back to even and, in a sense, start over again. That's exactly what they were able to accomplish. Five at this point. This is third and eight. From the gun, Brady. Over the middle, that's caught by Hogan. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. And they convert on third with a gain of 22. Like 20. Like 20. They'll run it now out of the gun. And it stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Like 20. 20. No. From the gun, Brady. And that's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown. Philip Dorsett from three yards out. And the Patriots have moved out in front. Well, that's about as quick of a passing touchdown as you'll ever see right there. Everyone has a section in their playbook called the quick game. That was a super quick game. Out of the hands of the thrower, bam, right to the receiver, successfully for a touchdown. How in-depth is that quick game part of the playbook? It's pretty in-depth because down. people want the ball. From the gun, here's gone. That's caught inside the 20. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That one will go down as 33 yards on the third down conversion. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not streaking towards him. That little hard game. Second and 10, golf again. And it's complete. He's got him in the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. In for the score. And the Rams are an extra point away from tying up this football game. These two teams in this first half, it's been fun. Back and forth, back and forth. Well, it's not fun for the defensive coordinators, <laughs> but offensive coordinators are enjoying it. Yeah, they're having streaks here, aren't they? Being able to put scores together and, and really bunch them up, and we have a tight game here. You know, we all can talk about On the handoff, it's Gurley. Good move by Gurley. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. That good for 19 and a first down. A good run there off right tackle in an old school NFL football. The right side of the offensive line, often known as the nasty side. The left side, usually the technical side. Kind of reminds me of the old Atlanta Falcons 2009-2010. That's how they constructed their offensive line. Man, they're looking at a third and goal here. Golf. And he's going to go down. Sacked back at the 13-yard line. Kyle Van Noy in there to get him for a loss of nine and that'll lead to fourth down They've been... so on fourth down here comes greg zerline to try and get three for the rams and zerline's kick is good and that will break our tie and give them a three-point lead so the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line but they do get three and I've talked with enough players nowadays that when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point, piece of cake. Because the extra point is not a piece of cake anymore. <laughs> but kicking a field goal from that distance. Now a play fake here on first down. Looking deep downfield. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Akeem Tlaib. And he'll take it across midfield to the 46-yard line. When we talk about a keep to lead, technique is not the word that comes to mind, but don't worry about that. This guy anticipates as well as anyone in the league, and he did just that, picking off another pass.
little bit. Yeah, that had to feel a lot better for the defensive guys. They've been getting carved up in this one. To finally knock him on the ground and force an incompletion, that's got to be a sigh of relief. And Zerline's kick is good. And that will add three more to their lead. It pushes it up to six. So they've put together a good little drive there, but ultimately stalling out in the red zone. Yeah, I know a lot of people look at it as a little bit of a negative. They didn't get six points out of it, right? Didn't get the touchdown. But that's actually okay. They got three points. They stay on the ground with White. And he'll be brought down, but a tip of the cap on the spin move as that gives him a first down. It's a nine-yard game. It doesn't game always time up quite that well. That one goes incomplete. And Goskowski's kick is good. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. So with that field goal, this one's now back within a field goal. Maybe not the ultimate result they wanted, but gets them that much closer. This game is unfolding like a really good book, isn't it? Because I feel like there's a few more plot twists yet to be revealed before this one is over. Yet another carry here tonight for Gurley. And oh, a little spin cycle, room to win now. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. Well, that looked like an example of what you said back in the first half. A running back of his size can really wear down a defense. I think he's starting to do that. I think you're exactly right. And know what else he's doing? He's inspiring the rest of his team because they see this starting to happen as well. So that means they're going to redouble their efforts to help him out. Extra blocking, getting downfield, helping him out. And Zerline's kick is good. And that will double their lead as it's up to six. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, they're a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because <laughs> they feel a whole lot better about their position. And a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden they're down. First and ten, here's Brady. He's going to air it out deep for Hope. And Brady going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Akeem Tlaib. And they are going to set up shop at the 32-yard line. So that right there was his... Here comes a 20th carry for Gurley. Room to run inside the 40. And he'll be taken down at the 26. A big hitter there, a first down gain of 26 yards. So well, on fourth out down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to make it a two-score game. And Zerline's kick is good. And the drive will wind up yielding three. Now the Patriots moving quickly, hustling up to the line. Now Brady. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. That's caught inside the 20. A big play. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to get it back to a one-score game. And Goskowski's kick is good. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. So still a little over 40 seconds to go. Time enough to put a drive together if they can get this onside kick. And the Rams have got it. And that should just about seal this one. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. The Rams have won the Super Bowl. And they will get the Lombardi Trophy. For the victors getting to hoist that Lombardi trophy, you know, we've talked to guys that have done it, and they say there's no better feeling in sports. I don't know how there can be. The, the, the journey to get to this game is incredible. And then to finally break through and win it when all eyes are on this game alone because there's nothing else going on, that's just got to be absolutely amazing. That, the task, incredible. But the accomplishment, forever.
And they are the Super Bowl champs. The Lombardi Trophy is theirs, and so are bragging rights for an entire season. What a season it has been. Feels like we have been there every step of the way. Our entire crew doing a wonderful job. Thanks to my broadcast partner, Charles Davis. For all those guys, I'm Brandon Gunn signing off. We'll talk to you next season right here on EA Sports.